let's move on to our fourth and final main topic today. And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Frank Sk Frank Skywalker, the lesser known Skywalker. Frank. Uh, Frank Skywalker writes, Hey, John. Just saw a report that confirms that the new Lord of the Rings series coming to Amazon will feature characters like Gladriel, Elrond, and Sauron. This is incredible news. Do you think they'll be able to get actors like Kate Blanchett and Hugo Weaving back? How big of a role do you think they'll play in the series? Big cameo. And how excited are you for the new show? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And listen, my degree of excitement for this Lord of the Rings series, I honestly, oh boy, I, it's for a new show. It's been a long time since I've been this excited for a new show. Like I've been a little bit more excited for seasons two or seasons three of shows I already know I love. But as far as my excitement level for a new show, it, it's hard to come up with a bunch of names that I'm not as excited about as Lord of the Rings, especially when you go and you look at all the people they've got behind the scenes, including the the concept designer from all the original films you had for season one uh this dude i'm forgetting his last name it starts with an s but this dude who's like a a historical authority on all things tolkien and he was kind of like their supervisor for for developing uh, season one to make sure everything fit in the right place for season one their writer's room for season one was absolutely incredible you got j.a bayona coming in to direct the first couple of episodes there is nothing about this that i don't find incredibly exciting i am super stoked now this whole thing about galadriel and and that this comes from by the way you said it's now confirmed it's not confirmed because i haven't seen anybody at amazon confirm this but where this comes from is a place called the one ring.net. For those of you who have not heard of the one ring.net, the one ring.net is basically the most authoritative um, site. It has been ever since the original Lord of the Rings movies, the definitive most authoritative website, independent website when it comes to all things, Lord of the Rings, it's them. And so we got to be cautious to say this is not confirmed because they aren't the official source. But when it comes to Lord of the Rings, they're pretty reliable. So we'll see what happens. But this is anyway what they're saying. They put this out in a tweet, the one ring.net. They wrote, Lord of the Rings, uh, San Diego Comic-Con update. J.A. Biona is currently filming in New Zealand. So we do we knew that already. They were up, they're up and shooting. This show is now in production. Filming in New Zealand, the biggest production in the world to resume filming post-COVID. Uh, new New Zealand cast have been added. More New Zealand crew than any production ever. Listen to that. Remember, they shot Lord of the Rings in New Zealand, and they're saying they have more crew for this show than they've ever had for anything that's shot in New Zealand. Galadriel, this is the key part. Galadriel, Elrond, and Sauron, all confirmed. Cast has a tighter bond than ever, they write. Okay, so they're saying all this stuff is there, and it's all confirmed. Now, remember again, as authoritative and as reliable as uh, the One Ring.net is, they are not Amazon. Uh, they do not have the definitive word on uh, what is true and what is not true for this show. But as far as anybody who's not the official source, they're pretty reliable. Rob, you and I remember we talked a while ago about this Lord of the Rings show. And we talked about some of the things we want to see, some of the things that we don't want them to see. And I remember one of the things that we mentioned was you don't want to become overly reliant on just callbacks to the Lord of the Rings movies. Like, don't make every single other line a reference to, for what's to come in Fellowship of the Ring. You know, don't, don't right. just become a big nostalgia play. At the same time, you and I thought you need to work in a cup, some connective tissue to make the audience feel, yeah, we're in Middle Earth. We're in that place again. So you're going to want some connective tissue. And we speculate and talked about Sauron and, you know, Elrond being, you know, who he is could have been around. Gladriel could have been around. I'll tell you what, this, this is exciting, but it's tempered excitement for me because I'm excited about it being Galadriel and Elrond if you get Cate Blanchett and Hugo Weaving back. Now, don't get me wrong. All actors are replaceable. Even Hugo Weaving, who is great. Even Cate Blanchett, who's one of the best actresses in the world. They're all replaceable. And I'll still be excited about Galadriel and, and Elrond being there if it's not them, but I will be very stoked if it is them, just because if you want to bring in these characters to reignite and really put in cement for the audience that this is that world in a different time period, 
but it is that world having them come back. I don't anticipate Rob. Frank is asking if we think it'll be a huge role for these characters or not. Assuming that the report from the one ring.net is, is legit. Uh, my guess is going to be, they probably won't be the key players. I think they will be side characters just there for that. Um, so I'm not assuming they'll be big. So listen, I'm going to right now, even though I wouldn't put money on it, I'm going to guess that if the one ring is saying it, I'm going to guess that this is true. It, it might turn out that they're incorrect. They're not always hundred percent right on everything. So they could be incorrect. Keep that in mind. It's not official. I'm going to operate on the assumption for now, though, Rob, that this is correct. And being correct, I am excited that these characters are going to be there, even if they are in what I expect to be small parts. And being small parts, maybe that increases the chances that they can get Kate Blanchett to show up for a day or two, you know, and film a couple of scenes, to get Hugo Weaving to just show up for a day or two, shoot a couple of scenes. I'd be very excited about that. Of course, it always comes down to Rob execution. Do they do it well? That's the big question. Rob, you hear about this. couple questions. Do you think this is legit? And if so, do you think this is a good move on their part? Or does it reek of just trying to make it feel more nostalgic? How do you see it? Well, no, because, I mean, as we know, Galadriel and Elrond were part of the Second Age. I, I mean, what's really interesting to me about this show is if you go back and you look into Tolkien's mythology about what happened during the Second Age, I mean, like, Sauron was a dude was like in human form walking around. I mean, he was a character and and he had form and we saw Elrond fighting in the War of the Ring that ended the Second Age. We saw that at the beginning of Fellowship of the Ring and Galadriel, one of the elves that, that had one of the rings of power. So the idea that if you know your Tolkien mythology, they were around and the Second Age, as a matter of fact, I recently watched a YouTube video that I don't know who did it, but they, they broke down the second age of, of, of Middle Earth. And you watch it and you're like, oh, I want to see this show because it's so interesting and, and, and every, everything that happened. And the One Ring, if they're reporting it, I mean, those guys were hugely supportive of like when we were working on the extended edition uh, uh, DVDs for, for the Lord of the Rings films. Those guys were on it, man. And remember when they won, when Peter Jackson won, it was what, 11 Academy Awards, 13 Academy Awards? 11. They went to the, they went to the one ring party afterwards. Like that's where they went. So it, 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 it the one ring is, is, uh, you know, they are the, they are the website of note and they know. And if the, if the one ring is reporting it, I would take that to the bank. Rob, let me ask you the question. You know, they they bring up uh, the question of if they are there, what do you think the chances are that we get Kate Blanchett and that we get Hugo Weaving? And if it's not them, do you think that's a terribly big distraction, or do you think it's okay if it's not them? How do you see that working out? Look, if it's it, it, well, because it is in the Second Age, and we're talking, you know, <laughs> thousands of years or whatever, uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but. I, I I mean, the Lord of the Rings films loom so large that if they could get Kate Blanchett, I mean, I'm sure if Kate Blanchett and Hugo Weaving were asked, they would come back and do it. Like, I, I think that they would. But on the other hand, it's been 20 years, you know, and, and Hugo Weaving and, and, and Kate Blanchett, they're supposed to be younger, but I know there are elves that live a very long time, but... Um, I, I think they would come back, but maybe the producers don't want them because they want their own identity, mm. but they're back in New Zealand. I mean, I, I, if, if you know what, those movies are so, they loom so large in the pop culture consciousness. Why wouldn't you, if you could get them? Cause wouldn't <laughs> that be, wouldn't that be cool? Like, like oh, yeah. everybody would love that. Yeah, and they're already they all ma they, they're already completely covered in makeup anyway. Right. So like the age stuff really doesn't become an issue because they're they're made up to look like fair elves. I anyway, mean, but, you but know, Rob, is, is it is it for the average viewer? Do you think it'll be a significant put off for the average viewer if Lord Elrond comes on screen and it's not Hugo Weaving, or do you think we would just adjust to it pretty quick? I, I think we would we would adjust to it. I, I, I mean, I, I really do. I think we would adjust to it because they'll probably cast some great people. But if look, if I was making the show, I, the first people I would call up, I'm like, hey, Kate, uh, <laughs> or or Hugo Weaving, 
I have to hear you bring forth the ring. Frodo. <laughs> you know, I mean, I need to hear I need to hear your voice as Elrond. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I mean, why not? Because, yeah. you know, we John, we live in a world where we're getting so much cool stuff that that it would just be cool if they were if they came back and played those roles. And and I think we now live in a world where where the geek stuff that we're getting is just so cool. Like, despite the fact that Star Trek and Star Wars might not be as cool as we want them to be, but everything else that we're getting is really cool. So I would think the cool factor that somebody's going, yeah, wouldn't it be cool if we got them? Like, why not? Why? Well, let's just call them up. It's not like they wouldn't want to come and hang out in New Zealand for a while because everyone loved New Zealand. Yeah. And, and I would listen, I, I think they will try to get them. Uh, but I also still think they will be small roles. So if it's not them, yeah. I think it's okay. I think it's totally fine if it's not them, if they have to get other actors. But the fact that it is small roles, I'm just guessing, that means less of a commitment, right? It means less of a commitment. Hey, Hugo, we don't need you for three months. We just right. come on down for a weekend, dude. Let us wine and dine you. We'll put up your family. We'll show them a great time. And we'll we'll bring you over to set for like two days. Shoot a I mean, couple he's of a, scenes. Hugo Weaving, he's Australian, dude. It's a three-hour plane flight. Just hop on over the pond. Question is, guys, what do you think about this? Do you like the idea of them bringing in characters like Gladriel, Elrond, Sauron? Do you think maybe that's a little too connective to the original stuff? Maybe you think it's just the perfect amount. Do you think they're going to get the original actors back? If they don't, do you think it's that big of a deal? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.